Hello everyone, this is the third part of Abacus heat transfer tutorial from Notrail Engineering. In this video, we are going to see how to apply conduction as well as convection boundary condition. This is the geometry of the problem. It's a three dimensional slab. We will apply a temperature boundary condition on one side. We will apply a flux boundary condition on another side. The value of temperature boundary condition is given over here. Value of flux boundary condition is given over here. And then what we will do is, we will apply a convection boundary condition on this surface and other remaining three surfaces we will assume they are perfectly insulated this over here is a conduction equation and this over here is a convection equation so we will apply this convection equation for this surface and conduction equation will be satisfied everywhere we will assume material to be gold for our slab and thermal conductivity of gold is 320 watt per meter Kelvin which is mentioned over here in this conduction equation and for convection equation we will need convection coefficient H so this convection coefficient H we will assume as 500 this convection coefficient depends on many things such as if there is a air outside or if it is a liquid or what is the velocity of air but usually for gold in air the convection coefficient is anywhere in between 10, 20 to 1000 so I am choosing 500 and also we have to define the room temperature while doing convection analysis so we will define room temperature as 298 Kelvin as always we will stick with SI units we will use steady state analysis for this let's start with Abacus CAE after setting work directory create a part three dimensional deformable solid part I'm just replicating the geometry shown in the problem. Don't forget to give this dimension as well at 0 0.2. Depth 0 0.2. Next go to property. create gold material and we only have to define conductivity because it's a steady state analysis create a section solid homogeneous section and assign the section then assembly create an instance and in step we have to create heat transfer step and over here switch to steady state it's just a note that boundary conditions will be applied with ramp amplitude that is perfectly fine you don't have to change anything over here say ok apply load first flux boundary condition on this side which is 50,000 it is going inside the body and a temperature boundary condition on this surface which is 300 Now to apply convection boundary condition on this surface, you have to go to interactions. I will name it as convection and then we have to select surface film condition. Select continue, select the surface, say done and over here film coefficient is nothing but convection coefficient. So I will put 500 and sink temperature means outside temperature or ambient temperature which is 298 so now we have convection boundary condition as well in place let's mesh the part you have to change element size don't forget that 
to heat transfer seed it and mesh it I think everything is done let's go to job create a job and submit it it's just saying do you want any history output but I don't think we need any history output so say yes it's done let's go to results and let's see the temperature distribution so this is the temperature distribution and you can see this top surface has convection because of that you can see it is temperature distribution has this curve so temperature on bottom face is little bit more than temperature on top face and the maximum temperature achieved on this surface is around 350 Kelvin if you see our earlier videos where we solved the same problem but without convection the maximum temperature was around 410 Kelvin so you can see because of convection the temperature of body is reduced considerably and if there were no convection then you will see these plots as symmetric about Z axis but it's not symmetric and that is because of the convection if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.